What's up guys, it's James here from Cigar Shack UK and here are the top three things that you don't want to be doing when you first start smoking cigars. Coming in at number one is that you do not want to be inhaling the cigar smoke out of this bad boy. You'll only ever do it once and that will be your lesson learned. You are going to do it, everyone is guaranteed to do it. I don't think I've ever sat down with a stick and had a smoke with someone that has not inhaled that cigar smoke. A lot of people think that these are just like cigarettes, you take the smoke in down to your lungs and you breathe it back out. But you got to remember, the, the smoke out of these bad boys is a lot more dense than the smoke coming out of a cigarette. You take this down to the lungs and trust me, you're going to cough on it. Coming in at number two is picking the right stick for you. Now, when you first start looking into smoking cigars or you first want to get into it or you just have a little bit of interest, is the mass world of cigars is incredible. There are thousands of different brands and then within that brand they have hundreds if not thousands of different types of cigars. So when you first go onto your first cigar like online website, it is going to seem a little bit daunting. This is why I highly recommend if you do have one, they are a little bit short in the UK, is visiting a proper tobacconist, a proper cigar shop and talking to the merchant in there. They are going to be so intelligent when it comes to stuff like this, they'll be able to pick out the perfect one for you. If you don't have a tobacconist that is close to you like myself, there are a few things that you could be watching out for to make sure you pick the perfect one for your first cigar. First of all, you want to try and decide, do you want like a Cuban or do you want something New World? And now when I say New World, that is literally anywhere that isn't Cuban. Dominican, Nicaraguan, Ecuadorian, there is loads of different types of cigars out there. Obviously, depending on which one you choose, the price range is going to vary. So obviously, if you choose Cuban because they are seen at the top of the game, you are going to be paying anything between, I'd say about 18 all the way up to about two, three hundred pounds for one stick. This is the Parta Gas Series D number four, and you are looking round about anything between 25 and about 36 pounds UK just for that. If you decide to go down the more New World route, which they are absolutely phenomenal smokes, I personally prefer New World cigars, um, especially when it comes down to price range. You can't go wrong with a brick house, um, very smooth cigar, lot of seed wood flavors, and there is a little bit of black pepper towards the end, but by the time you've got towards that final inch, your mouth and your taste was kind of got used to the harshness from it. So brick house, the standard one, not the Maduro, Robusto, perfect for a first cigar, I would say. So once you've decided whether you want to go New World or you want to go Cuban, you then have to kind of decide the size. Now, when I'm recommending new cigars to new people that are looking at getting into it, size does matter when it comes to cigars. Obviously, if you haven't smoked before, you've never smoked a cigarette, you've never smoked a pipe, you've never smoked a cigar before, you might not want to sit there for two, three hours puffing on a cigar. And obviously, if you are going more down the Churchill size route, which are, you are looking around about two and a half to three hours smoke because they are anything between about seven and eight inches long. They are a big smoke. The last thing you want to be doing is buying one, taking about three or four puffs from it and hating it. You have then just wasted 15 to like 60 pounds worth of your money on something you can't see stand. When I first start recommending people getting into cigars, there are two sizes that I would say are probably the best entry level kind of size cigar. Number one is the Corona. That is anything between about 40 to 42 ring gauge and about four to four and a half inches smoke. You are looking around about anything between about 30 to 45. You might be able to stretch it to an hour if you are a slow smoker. It still has the amazing length. You are going to get such multiple different flavors when smoking a Corona. Uh, going to something a little bit smaller, you're getting more towards the Cigarello size. And when you're first time smoking cigars, I really do not recommend a Cigarello. So a Corona would be a perfect size for your first cigar. The second size that I highly recommend as a first cigar smoker is the Robusto size. Now a Robusto size is anything between about 48 to 54 ring gauge and anything between about four and a half up to about five, five and a little bit inches. Again, you're probably looking anything between, I'd say about 45 hour, hour and 15 smoke. If you are a little bit of a slow smoker, personally myself, I smoke quite quick. I can probably push a Robusto to maybe about 50 minutes, hour tops with good company. Now Robusto is fantastic because you will get three stages of flavorings throughout this cigar. Obviously, the more you smoke, the longer you've got it burning, the more flavors are gonna come out in this. You might have in the first third, something of like a lot of slight cedar, second third, something that's more like a muck, and the final third, black pepper. The possibilities are endless. So for your first cigar, I'd recommend a Corona or a Robusto, perfect length cigar, and you can normally get these anything between about eight pounds up to about 40 pounds obviously depending on if you go cuban or you go new world if you light one of these up and 
you get about four or five trusts into it and it's really not for you, you haven't wasted that much money. If you go for something a little bit bigger or you go for a large Cuban, you could be looking at about 30 pounds. You could take two or three puffs and you might not like it and that is 30 pounds down the drain. So always remember, when it comes to cigars, size does matter. And coming in at number three is storage. Now, if you don't really plan on becoming a collector of cigars, that's totally fine. You might just want one for the odd occasion, a wedding, a birthday, a celebration, anything. I personally wouldn't order it weeks and weeks and weeks in advance if you are not going to store it correctly. Now don't worry, I am going to be doing another video based on storage for your cigars and there are loads of different ways that you can do it. Ones that are going up to thousands of pounds, ones that are going to cost you two, three pounds from the little shop. What I would recommend if you are ordering them a couple of weeks in advance is get yourself a tight sealed Tupperware. Most cigars that are going to get delivered normally come with a humidity pack in the pouch that you're gonna get it delivered, especially if you order offline. If you are ordering in the store, you can normally pick them up for about a pound, two pounds tops. They aren't expensive at all. These are Bovida packs, so these are what keep humidity and they will take away humidity from your cigars. Put them in your Tupperware box, put them out of sunlight, and they will last weeks, if not months in there. Of course, if you are looking at becoming a collector or you want to see them a little bit more fancy when you come into selecting a cigar, you can get yourself a perfectly good humidor here as well or a tight sealed chest like that. Most cigar merchants probably won't let you leave there if you're not going to store it properly. So they probably will try and upsell you on something like that. Please do not just buy a cigar outside of the wrapper. So that is without the cellophane around it, especially when they're like this, and then just leave it on the side or leave it on the counter because these will go dry. And when you light them up, they will just shrivel, they will crumble, they will flake away and they will break. You've got to remember, these are just dead leaves. This is why they need humidity. This is why you need to keep them held together. This is basically a dead salad. So if you're not looking at becoming a collector, get yourself a Tupperware box. You can get them from Poundland. They're not going to cost you a fortune. You can probably get them from a little corner shop, especially if you're in the UK. You can get yourself a Tupperware, put them in that, keep them out sunlight, like perfect. If you're coming a collector or you're looking at becoming a collector, get yourself a decent humidor and you will be set for life. So that's it guys, that is the top three things you don't want to be doing when you first start smoking a cigar. Make sure you like, share, subscribe and enable notifications for this YouTube channel. There are going to be four videos, there are going to be shorts. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and join our Facebook page for our lives and virtual hearths. We are an amazing group of people and we meet up every, maybe once a month, have an online smoke, especially because we can't meet in public properly at the moment. And I'll see you on the next one.